The world is annoyed with Facebook, but I'm more stressed out over zombies. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Last week, you heard that Facebook automatically changed the email address displayed in your profile to be the Facebook email that no one uses. Well, the drama just got worse. Many smartphones sync contacts with Facebook, and that means address books were auto-updated with the useless Facebook emails. Do yourself a favor, make sure the right email is listed in your profile. If you think you're missing emails, click on Messages in the left-hand column, then click on Other, because that's where Facebook hides emails sent to you by non-friends. The Android operating system comes out with frequent updates, but not all phones, even new ones, can always get those updates. Android 4.0, which debuted back in October, is only on 10% of Android phones. Last week, Google just came out with 4.1, codenamed Jelly Bean, but you might be waiting months to see that. So in the meantime, you can always read up on our full review of Android 4.1. By now, you've heard that Nintendo's coming out with a new gaming system this holiday called the Wii U. It revolves around using a touchscreen game controller. No price or release date has been set, but I got a chance to demo some of the first games for the new system. And when it's done right, it does add a new level of fun to casual gaming. If you're playing with others, the person using the gamepad controller may have a completely different role in trying to hurt or help other players. In Super Mario Bros. U, Mario and Luigi are controlled with the classic Wiimote but the player with the gamepad has the power to create extra blocks to help save them from falling or help them get to hard to reach places. The screen can sometimes surprise you. In the wacky challenges of Game and Wario, use a swiping motion to pull back an arrow on the touchpad and watch it fly at the targets on the television. If the bad guys get too close though, they can hop on the gamepad screen and then you gotta smash them with your fingers. It also adds new features to Wii Fit. In one workout challenge, I focus focused on the gamepad screen to aim my water gun at approaching enemies while doing lunges. The best experience is when game designers got creative with using the touchpad in simple ways where I didn't have to worry about looking back and forth between the two screens. And that wasn't the case with Zombie U. The touchpad had some perks. The screen, in fact, gave me more to do with looking down to touch my inventory to load weapons or hold up the screen to see in a dark room. It's stressful enough dealing with zombies, but having to look down and think about what's going on in that second screen under pressure, that's a skill that takes getting used to. I think I'll just stick with those Mario games for now. That's your tech news update for today. For more on the stories in today's show, visit CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.